Hey now, Rob here, Rob School of Music, and in this week's episode of Operation 83, we're rocking with a 1983 Gibson Les Paul Custom Silver Burst. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I am on a quest to collect as many guitars from the year 1983 as I possibly can find. I've already gotten an SG, a Les Paul Standard, a Telecaster, a Stratocaster, an ES-335, a Flying V, and a P-Bass, but this may be the crown jewel. This is a Gibson Les Paul Custom in a silver burst finish. They didn't make a lot of these that year. This guy's a little banged up, you'll see in the photos above. but. My buddy Phil D'Angelo at D'Angelo Guitars in Fairlawn, New Jersey was able to refret this instrument and bring it back to a playable state. When I first got this guitar, it came from some beat to crap Goodwill store on Reverb. They told me it was in great condition. I bought it. I paid a little bit more than I wanted to. And then when it arrived, the case stunk like a billion cigarettes had been smoked inside of the case. The guitar stunk. And beyond that, I knew it had some Damage, there's some weird repaint on the neck with looks like primer paint. There's dings, there's scratches, natural relicking. It's a 40 year old instrument. But the thing that I didn't realize was it had a refret job. And I wasn't warned about that. And the frets were crooked and horrible and just done by a complete idiot. I went back to go find the place in reverb and of course immediately they had disappeared. So I took it over to Phil and he was able to remove the frets which had been super glued into the neck. Never do that my friends if you're trying to refret your instrument. Super glued into the neck so we had to heat it to get all that glue off of it without destroying the binding and he put these beautiful new frets in there and, and let's hear how it sounds. It, it's just incredible. Uh -huh. 